In this project, we'll show some DIY ideas of a fingerprint necklace in polymer clay. To make a fingerprint pendant, we'll need polymer clay of white, two shades of blue, ochre, pink, and green color, jump rings, and braided leather cord with a clasp. Roll up a white polymer clay ball to make a pendant base. Roll out flat. You can use any appropriate object, even a glass. We're using a special rolling pin. Take a small piece of blue clay to roll up a ball. Roll out in a small circle. Put the blue circle in the center of the white base. The most exciting moment! Put your thumbprint! To make the fingerprint clear, thoroughly press down the central part of the blue circle. Prick the white base to put a jump ring on. Use a toothpick. Twist a little to make the hole wider. Let's embellish the pendant. We'll need polymer clay of different colors. Take small pieces of blue and pink. Mix just a bit to get a fusion of two individual colors. Roll up a ball. Make several two-colored balls in clay of different shades. You can choose any combination as we have taken the colors that match well. Okay, we've got a number of bright details. Attach the elements to the white base. Start a bit beyond the ring hole. Press over each ball to shape a tight string around the blue circle. The ball string shapes an open ring with a hole on top. Now you can bake the pendant. Look up the instructions to learn the temperature and time to bake your polymer clay. The clay we're using should be baked at 230 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. Take jump rings and braided cord. Open a ring and pass it through the hole. Put it on the cord and close the ring. The cute fingerprint pendant keeps a secret and thus can become a very special gift for a close friend. Let's make a fingerprint necklace. We'll need polymer clay of blue, pink, and ochre color. Two thin silk cords of lavender lilac and blue shades. Begin with making templates. Draw three five-pointed stars on thick paper. They can be of different size and not quite regular shape. Cut them out. This is it! Now, take three polymer clay pieces of each color and roll up balls. Roll out flat. Use a small rolling pin. The circles should not be too thin. The size varies as the stars will not be equal. Put the templates onto the clay circles. Press over and smooth with your fingers. As we'll use a craft knife, be careful to lay a wooden board. Cut out carefully. Don't let the templates shift. Remove the paper. Pierce the stars to hang on rings. Use a toothpick. And the central element of the craft is a fingerprint. Put a thumbprint on the biggest pink star. Press down well to make it clear. Print your little finger on the smallest yellow star. Put a fingerprint with your middle finger on the blue charm. All the stars are ready. You can bake them now. Be careful to check the polymer clay instructions for baking time and temperature. We'll bake the charms at 230 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. Join the cords and tie a knot on the end. Put something heavy on the knotted end to keep in place. Twist the cord to the left. Hold tight to prevent unwinding. Turn around the second cord in the same direction. The cords are twisted tight. Remove the press and pull up the ends. Loosen the cords to twist a rope. Tie a knot on the other end. Cut off the excess. The details are ready. Let's assemble the necklace. Open a jump ring. Thread a star and close the ring. Put on rings on the other charms. Thread the cord rope. 
The fingerprint necklace is a unique piece of jewelry. You can either use your own fingers to make a special gift for your close friend, or put your baby's fingerprints to keep until the kid grows up. These accessories are stunning and special as they keep a speck of your individuality. Feel free to comment. Give your thumbs up if you like the ideas. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to get fresh ideas of jewelries and accessories in polymer clay for kids and adults.